Hey YouTube, David Kaiser here. I'm going to show you my practice instrument at home. I'm in my yard right now, sorry. And I'm holding the camera. My tripod is in the car, ready for another episode of Pipe Organ of South Carolina. But I wanted to show you how I practice at home. And this is basically free. I had to buy two of the MIDI keyboards, the M Audio uh, 61 no, uh, keyboards. And someone gave me another Casio keyboard that I use for the pedal. But besides those two keyboards, which were, uh, they're, uh, I can't remember what they were. They are like 160 each. So they were not exactly cheap, but they weren't that expensive either. And the, the organ frame or the skeleton was uh, given to us if we hauled it on our own, which we did. And it was a pain in the butt to get in the house and it weighs almost a ton. But anyway, this is a, basically a free version of practicing at home. Well, not free, like 400 bucks. Um, let's see. And I had the audio interface, which we'll see in a second, and headphones from another gig that I do. So that wasn't a important cost. Now, I can't change any sounds with this organ without going to the, to the computer itself, to the software, and changing. So I hopefully will get some touch screens or some other way of controlling stops and uh, piston combinations. So you'll see how I practice at home in just a second. I don't know, I'm looking at the screen. Hey, yeah, you can hear the birds chirping. It's nice out here. Beep. My daughter's out here with me. It's quite warm and rainy and I gotta rake some leaves. Gotta rake. Look at all these leaves. All right, here we are in the front of the organ. These are M Audio. You can't see that. Let me see. Yeah. There we go. Key stations. 61. And I braced them in with what was holding in the actual keyboards or manuals on this Rogers organ. Now here's where fun stuff happens. This is a Casio CTX 700 flipped around and supported via these shelf holders. I just screwed it right into there. And then I put a scooter on top as well. And here's this old Rogers practice panel, which was very useful when it was working. Now, so how this works is that these strings are attached to the base of the pedal. So when you press the pedal, I'm pressing the pedal right now, pulls one of the strings. And you can see that's the bottom of the key action pulling, and that note is then struck. There's that. Since there's only 30, what, 31, 32 pedal notes, and I'm using the Hauptwerk, just the free version. This one only has, I think, 30 pedals working. So the top two don't need to work anyway. So here's the back, how it looks. Now these do come on loose. Alright, so... What I did is I drilled a hole into the back of the pedal. And then I tied a screw into it and then tied the string that's connected to that Casio to the actual pedal, and then it's further strengthened so it doesn't become unloosed by these other screws. Kind of a mess, but it works. Actually, I've got to come back here and I'm fixing some of them because some of them have come undone because I had to use different kind of screws. So long.
So this is the old gutted Rogers Scarborough organ, analog organ. A church was giving this away, and we just had to haul it. It weighs five billion pounds. So as I said, we have M Audio Key Station 61. Another video, I'll play it for you, but it's just to kind of show how it works. And that's connected USB to a USB hub, because I need a whole bunch of them. And that's connected into my computer, and there it is on the screen. This is the trial version, which works really good, except when you play a lot of different notes, some notes will cut out because there's only 256 simultaneous pipes. And that's my daughter playing piano over there. Thank you, that's so beautiful. Hold on, come over. And the gain on this is really low. So what I did is I have this USB audio interface. This is an Audient ID22. Pretty expensive this thing. I use this for my radio gig. This I can control the sound a little better in it. The preamps on this are pretty clean and the headphone amp is pretty clean as well. So you can get really loud. So I have my headphones plugged in here. Have to make that out. And there they are. HT 600. Also for my radio gig. Very nice headphones. I have a pair of little speakers here that I blew out. But sometimes to show students I just plug that speaker in to the interface. So I don't have anything like the swell pedal connected or other touch screens to change stops. So what I did for a little bit was use the buttons on the key station. You can assign these to whatever you want. Like for example, the volume bu button right here I just used for crescendo pedal, etc. And I showed you how that worked. Now if you get one of these Casio keyboards, um, some of them have like an option to change to use as a MIDI device and you have to change that option where it won't connect and won't work at all. So let's see if you can see, I don't want to undrill this right now, but see where those strings are going, that's directly to the keys. And I just drilled straight through the keys and I put a little knot above it so when you pull the string via the pedal it makes sound. And just for fun I'm going to show you what was in the inside of this organ before I gutted it. Alright so I'm walking to my shed where I put the guts of that old Scarborough organ. Mm. Here we go. Carrying my daughter with me. Right, down you go. Just for a second. Okay, going inside. Get some light. And here's some of the internals of that. These are, I think, the magnetic reed switches for the pedal. I was going to do a, a true conversion um, and order something that I could midify this, but I didn't bother. If my string method doesn't work, I'll end up using these. I kept them in intact, and I try to give myself enough room with the wire. And these, this is the keyboard. Now these are things that are actually surprisingly well made. And have quite a, a nice heavy mechanism. I was thinking about making a shelf with it, but it's just so nicely made that I just didn't want to do anything with it. The other one is actually resting inside the organ currently, holding up another of the keyboards. And the braces that were holding these in 
are the ones that I'm using to hold in the actual MIDI keyboards. I threw away the power supply and I just kept this because it looks cool. These, were, these are really heavy and they sit right in the middle of the organ. They're taking up a lot of space in there. I'm not sure exactly what they all do. But to actually get the headphone jack working when this analog organ was working, I had to switch something in the back in here and now I can't find it. To get it to work it was turned off for the Leslie speakers out here where it is. I had to unplug this and turn one of these switches on. So if anyone has a Scarborough organ and you want to use the practice panel you gotta do something along those lines. Alright so that's my current practice instrument. Hopefully I can get some touch screens or some other little devices that I can connect to change the stops and whatnot.